Hey everybody, welcome in. Today we're going to be taking a look at uh, Eureka Math, Engage New York, and Zern's Grade 4, Module 3, Lesson 7. And in this lesson, we're going to look to be able to use place value disks to represent two digit by one digit multiplication. So for number one, they already sort of worked this out as like an example problem, but the directions read, represent the following expression with disks, regrouping as necessary, writing a matching expression and recording the partial products vertically as shown below. So we have a couple steps that we need to work through for each of these problems. Here we see 1 times 43 and we can see that 43 is represented in the place value chart with four tens and three ones. So since we're multiplying by one, anything times one is this other factor here. So one times 43 is going to be 43. And they illustrate this over here on the right hand side, where we multiply one times three ones is equal to three, and one times four in the tens place. So one times four tens is one times 40. And 40 times 1 is 40. And then we add 40 plus 3, which is 43. In letter B, we're doing 2 times 43. So we're going to go ahead and put 43 in our place value chart. So 4 tens and 3 ones. But since we're multiplying by 2, we need two groups of 43. So here's one group, and I need to go ahead and put in another group of 43. So when all said and done with the place value chart, we have six ones and eight tens to make 86. Now over here, we're going to illustrate using uh, multiplying by partial products. So we did 42, or excuse me, 43 times two. So our first step would be to multiply two times three, which is six. And in order to do that, we did two times three ones and two times four tens. And of course, two times four tens is 80. And 80 plus six is equal to 86, which we showed over here in our place value chart. C says three times 43. So we'll go ahead and put 43 in our place value chart. Four tens, three ones. And we need to do that three times. So that's one time, two times, and a third time. Now I run into a little bit of a conundrum here in my tens place because if we take a look, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve tens. So if you think back all the way back to, I think it's even module one, we know that 10 of one place value is equal to one of the next largest place value. So I actually need to regroup 10 of these tens for 100. So I have 100. These 10 tens were regrouped, so I don't need to really worry about these circled um, place value disks, but I still do have these two left over to make two. And over here, I have nine ones. And let's go ahead and illustrate that using partial products. 43 times three. So first we're going to do three times three ones, which is nine, and that's shown in the ones place. And then we're going to do three times four tens. And three times four tens is 12 tens or 120. And then I add these partial products up and I get 129. And this number here should match what happens in my place value chart. And it does. So 43 times 3 is 129. 
Letter D, we're doing 4 times 43. So, again, we'll go ahead and put 43 in our place value chart 4 times. And this is the fourth time. Now, again, sort of run into a conundrum because we have more than 10 place value disks in each of these place values. So again, 10 of a smaller place value is equal to one of the next largest place value. So I need to regroup ones and tens. So I'm going to count up how many ones I have. I have 3, 6, 9, 12. So I need to regroup 10 of them. over here, and I'm going to kind of put this underneath the place value chart, just out of room. So 10 ones is equal to 110. And I also have more than 10 tens here in my place value chart. So I need to regroup 10 of these for a hundred. So here's eight, four, eight, nine, ten. And I'll regroup those for a hundred. So when all is said and done, I have 100. I have one, two, three, four, five, six tens plus the 10 ones that I regroup to make seven tens. And I have two leftover ones to make a product of 172. Using partial products, I'll do 43 times four. My first step is um, four times three ones, which is 12. And then I will do four times four tens, which in our place value chart ended up being 16 tens or 160. And when I add 12 plus 160, 2 plus 0 is 2, 1 plus 6 is 7, and 1 plus nothing is 1. And again, my numbers here match, so I know I'm in good shape. Number 2 says represent the following expressions with disks. All right, so we were doing that, regrouping as necessary, which we've done. To the right, record the partial products vertically. So same sort of directions as uh, number 1. So we'll do 2 times 36. So 36 is going to go into my place value chart. So 36 is three tens and six ones. And since I'm multiplying by two, I need to do that two times. Again, if I take a look at my number of ones, I have 12 ones, so I need to regroup 10 of them for 1, 10. So after my regrouping, I see that I have 7 tens and 2 ones. So when I multiply with partial products, I should arrive at 72. So 36 times 2 would be um, 2 times 6 ones which is 12. But again, this 110 got regrouped over here to the tens place. And then I will do two times three tens, which is equal to um, six tens, which is 60. And if I add 12 plus 60, two plus nothing is two, and one plus six is seven, I get 72. So again, I know I'm in good shape. B, 3 times 61. So I need to put 61 in my place value chart, which is 6 tens. And 1 1. And I need to do that 3 times because I'm multiplying by 3. And this is my third group of 61. Okay, 
My ones place looks good because there's three ones, so I don't need to regroup more, uh, any ones to tens, but I do need to regroup tens to hundreds because I have 18 here in my tens place. So I need to regroup 10 of them. So there's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need to regroup 10 tens for 100. So when all said and done, I have 100. I don't need to worry about these tens that are circled because those are regrouped over here into my hundreds place. I just need to count the ones that are not circled. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to make 183. I'll again use partial products. So I'm doing 61 times three. So my first partial product would be um, three times one, one, which is just three. And then I will be doing three times six tenths. And three times six tenths is 18 tenths or 180. And then 180 plus three gives me 183, which again, matches my place value chart. So I know I'm in good shape. Last but not least, I have letter C here, four times 84. So we're going to have a whole bunch of dots here in our, excuse me, a whole bunch of place value disks here in my tens place. But let's go ahead and try this one out. We need to show 84 in the place value charts, which is eight tens. and four ones. And I need to do that four times. And here's my last group. And I'm gonna switch my color to show the regrouping here. So in my ones place, I have four, eight, 12, 16 ones. And in my tens place, I have eight, 16, 24, 32, tens. So definitely need to do some regrouping here in this place value chart. I'm going to regroup 10 ones. Regrouping 10 ones for 110. And it looks like in my tens place, I'm going to have to do this a couple times because I have 32. So every group of 10 Tens needs to be regrouped for a hundred. So here I see eight, nine, ten. So I'll regroup these over here for a hundred. I'm going to do that again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These will be regrouped for 100. And another time if I can, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I am able to regroup these 10 tens for 100. So when all said and done, I have three hundreds. I have these two tens from the initial problem and the 10 ones that I regrouped for a 10 to make three tens and one, two, three, four, five, six ones to make 336. I need to make sure that my partial products matches. So 84 times four would be four times four ones. And four times four ones is 16. And then I'm going to do four times eight tenths. 
Again, eight tens is coming from this eight here in 84. Uh, four times eight tens is 320. Or 32 tens. And when I add, six plus zero is six. One plus two is three. And three plus nothing is three to make 336. Again, that matches my place value chart. So I know I am in good shape.